Hey, what's up? Today I wanted to make a video showing you how you can play old school RuneScape using RuneLite on Linux. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because Jagex, as of right now, hasn't released a, a version of its launcher for Linux. I mean, it has a version for Windows and in Mac which are the most popular and obvious operating system, but Linux is not yet available. So hopefully one day they're going to make it available for Linux, but for right now it's not available. That being said, you can play the game through Steam and RuneScape is available on Steam, but the problem by going through Steam is that you're going to use the default client and you're not able to use third-party clients like RuneLite or other things. And so in my case, my favorite old school RuneScape client is RuneLite because it has so many more features than the normal client. And yes, it's available on Linux here. You can install it for Linux. But the problem right now with this is that I think it was a few years ago, uh, Jagex basically updated their game and its launcher so that all the RuneScape characters have to go through uh, the Jagex launcher and so even though you want to use RuneLite uh, with this new thing here you kind of have to go through the, the Jagex launcher to be able to use RuneLite and so again I hope that at some point in the future Jagex is going to uh, support Linux users but as of right now I found a way around if you're a Linux user and you want to play old school RuneScape and so here I found a GitHub repo uh, from USA Red Dragon that basically created the Jagex launcher uh, for a Linux flat pack. And so what you can do here is that you can basically install this flat pack on your computer and it's going to be able to uh, run the Jagex launcher through Wine. And also you can add RuneLite to it and HDOS. I don't know HDOS, but in my case, I'm more interested in RuneLite. And to install this, there are many ways that you can do it, but in this video, I'm gonna use the most uh, simple and the simplest way that you can do it using the scripted installation. But if you know what you're doing, you can also do the manual installation and you can also build it from source here. So in my case, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the scripted uh, installation. And so here I'm simply going to copy this line here. And basically what this line does is that it is running uh, the install dot sh as bash in your terminal and so what you can do is simply open the terminal right here and simply paste the line and then you simply let it install its thing all right so after a few minutes the installation should be over and so what you can do then is that you can install uh, the client that you want so in my case i'm interested in the room light but if you want to install HDOS, you can do it as well. But in my case, I'm gonna stick with RuneLite. So you copy this line here and you paste it into the terminal. And so, yes. All right, so now the installation is complete. Now what you can do is that you can simply launch the Jagex launcher from uh, your operating system here. You might need to uh, restart and reboot your computer in some cases. And so in my case, I was able to do it right away. And so here it's the Jagex launcher. You can simply uh, let it update. All right, so now I'm going to log in into my Jagex account. All right, so now I'm connected to the Jagex launcher. And so here uh, I can simply select old school RuneScape. And here by default, it's using the official client, but what you can do is now uh, select RuneLite because we installed it a little bit earlier and now we can select your character in my case uh, this is the only character that i have so we can hit play now rune light is also going to do its thing and update and now here we go i'm playing runescape old school runescape using rune light and I have access to all these features for for runescape and there, there you go. And so in the end, Jagex isn't supporting yet Linux users. So hopefully at some point that's going to change and hopefully they're going to add a Linux version for its launcher. In the meantime, uh, you can use this uh, repo here from 
uh, USA Red Dragon and so again you just need to enter a few commands a few lines here and uh, make sure to follow this guy and give him a star and so that's pretty much it for this video I hope that this video was helpful to you if this video was valuable to you you could consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel and if you have any thoughts or comments you can leave them below because I will answer everything and your thoughts and comments could be valuable to other people so that's it. Peace.